I've got some bad news. Hollywood has lied to you. But not because they wanted to trick you, more because we kind of all just assume that when someone falls into lava or molten metal, that you kind of just sink into it and die more or less uneventfully. But in reality, it's worse. Much, much worse. Yeah, kind of like this. Ah, yeah, it's kind of like this, I'm not thinking. So the reason why Hollywood has never shown you an accurate death by lava or molten metal is apparently because no one considered density or how much mass of something is in a certain amount of volume. Molten metal and lava flow like water sometimes, so you should sink into them like water, right? Wrong. Density is why things sink or float. Water has a density of around 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, and so anything with a density higher than this, like a cube of steel, will sink in it, and anything with a density lower than this, like a cube of wood, for some reason, will float on it. For example, the reason why a many million pound tanker ship doesn't sink is because on average, its hull is empty space. It has a layer of steel and then another thin, relatively thin layer of steel inside of it. So if you were to take the density on average of a tanker ship hull, it's mostly empty space and it ends up being less dense than water so it still floats. Floating or sinking in lava or molten metal means dealing with density like you would water. And it also means a demise much, much worse than movie show. Let's start with one of the most famous movie deaths by lava, when Gollum sinks into the fires of Mount Doom. If Gollum is a humanoid, then he probably has a density similar to that of humans, which is similar to that of water, around 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. But lava has a density of around 3,000 kilograms per meter cubed. It is molten rock, after all, and that's three times that of Gollum. Okay, I haven't done this impression on the show yet, and it's gonna freak you out. All right, but I'm, I'm still gonna do it. That would mean that Gollum wouldn't sink in the fires of Mount Doom. He would actually float on top of the lava and slowly burn alive. Precious. The same thing goes for the One Ring, but in reverse. Gold is incredibly dense, 19 times more dense than water and six times more dense than lava. So in this famous scene, the One Ring should immediately sink into Mount Doom and Gollum should stay on top of the fires, uh, burning alive in agony. Unless the One Ring had some kind of magic season. <laughs> <sighs> I can't stop. And that iconic scene from Terminator 2, Judgment Day? Yep. Same problem, oh no. Oh, I can feel another impression coming on, no, oh, come on. Remember when you totally didn't cry at this scene? Well, in reality, it would have been a little bit more traumatizing. And Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator is apparently made out of hyper alloy, which I'm gonna assume is lighter, but stronger than the molten steel that he is sinking into. And molten steel has a density of seven and a half thousand kilograms per cubic meter, which is much, much more dense than he is. So he'd sink about two thirds of the way, then his legs would pop up like a cork, and then he'd just be floating on top, <laughs> giving you a thumbs up uh, while he melted the rock. Oh, it sounds bad. Oh, <laughs> just, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here melting into the, into the non-crystalline structure of metal stuff. There is a caveat to this, however. If you were to throw yourself into a volcano or jump into a vat of molten metal, you probably wouldn't float immediately. Here's some dudes throwing a bag of trash into a volcano. And what you're seeing is that it pierces the top layer and before it can rise back up, the viscosity is kind of stopping it from doing that and all the gases are boiling and expanding and it causes a mild eruption, explosion kind of thing. That's probably what would happen to your body if you jumped into a volcano. But if you did jump in, it wouldn't be pretty or cinematic or, or touching or, you know, this. If you jumped into a vat of molten steel, for example, you'd probably go down through the top layer but then pop back up like a submerged beach ball in a pool and then you'd be uh, just kind of floating on top, burning alive at many thousands and thousands of degrees. <laughs> and then it gets worse. If you were floating on the top of lava or molten metal, then your skin would literally start to boil off and then that layer of gas around your body would have you skittering along the top like a droplet of water on a hot skillet due to something called the Leidenfrost effect. I can see why Hollywood doesn't want to show you that. 
But if we're really being sticklers here, death by lava or molten metal would occur before you even hit the surface of either one of them. Because the surface is so hot for this stuff, uh, just breathing in one breath of air would vaporize your lungs and burn off all the nerves on the outside of your body and you'd already be on fire. And then you'd hit the surface and you'd break all the bones in your body because even though this stuff is liquid, it's still rock and metal. So jumping into it would be like the worst belly flop ever because science. Oh wait, oh wait, no, no, I wouldn't sink, I'd stay here because of the density that we, that we just discussed. So just cut, just cut the camera whenever this is adequate. Thank you so much for watching. Guess what? I have a new show and it's with one of my best buds from Nerdist, Dan Casey, who is too smart and clever and funny for his own good. And if you like him and you like sciencey stuff, check out our new show tonight called Natural Selection, where you, the fans, can come and vote on what we talk about and what wins and what's gonna go on to the next show. It's gonna be geeky and sciencey and fun. So check it out. You can find all the details on Nerdist.com. You know one death by lava that I think actually works? Uh, in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, where uh, Kali Ma guy lowers Hanum Shibai guy <laughs> down in the cage into the lava. And because metal is more dense than uh, molten rock, it would push down his uh, light body into the lava and it would, they both go in. But, and, but when they both come back out, there would be basically nothing left if you left it for a long enough time, aside from some bones. And we know that there'd only be bones left, or just a little, little fragments of bones, because people have actually um, accidentally, and sometimes not so accidentally, fallen into uh, vats of steel, and that's all that you find, uh, find of them left.